You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another with a new Let's Play episode of After Class Mark's episode. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. All right, <clears throat> all righty. Alarm chain. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so early in the morning, he looks at me pensively to the point he seems apologetic for whatever reason it is. I can't stand when he acts like that. Fine, let me grab my stuff. Here we are in Highwell Park. It's so crowded it reminds me why I really don't like to go here early in the morning. It's a little bit too crowded here, don't you think? No, shoot, shoot! You brought me here. I didn't think it would be this crowded. I'm sorry. There he goes, saying sorry for something that's not his fault. I really hate that. Or anyone that does that, really. You don't need to be overly apologetic. That's fine, we're already here. What are we gonna do? Hmm. I haven't had breakfast yet. What do we say we get something to fill our stomachs with? Hmm. Sounds good to me. I know the place, then. Oh no, it's gonna be that place. Hell on Earth. Heaven on Earth. Yeah, no. No good? No, I mean, it's good, but it's freaking too crowded. They have good food here, though. Yeah, I know! That's why it's crowded in the first place! I'll get something to eat for both of us. Is there anything you want here, specifically? I'm good for anything! Oh, coffee would be great! Coffee? Of course. Just wait here, okay? I'll be back. I'm not a child anymore, so stop treating me like one! You'll, you'll be forever my child, though. Fair point. Let me rephrase, then. I'm not a kid, so stop treating me like one. Can't argue with that, then. <laughs> We're having a conversation for once, huh? It's not a, as bad as I thought, uh, I guess. I sit here as I wait for him to get our food. This is nice and all, but I can't help but think that he's planted something behind my back. Here we go! Two chicken teriyakis and two cups of coffee for the Thornton family. Stop doing that, that's embarrassing! <laughs> Why are you bringing the food yourself, anyway? They look quite busy, so I thought I'd help them just a little bit. Hmm, uh, okay. Didn't take him, didn't take him as a considerate type. We we'll grab the plastic fork they prepared for us. It's a little bit flimsy, I wonder if it'll be able to, I wonder if it'll be able to tear into the meat. There's only one way to find out. It does the job, surprisingly. I put the fork next to my mouth and accidentally caught it and caught a glimpse of my dad. He's eagerly waiting for me to eat my food. If I didn't know better, I'd have thought he had tampered with my food. Or maybe that's what he did. Oh, God, ugh, trust issues. What are you doing? You're being creepy. Eat your food. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just getting sentimental. Never thought I'd be able to eat with, with eat out with my son. You're exaggerating. Of course. Now that I think of it, what was the last time we ate out together? Too long ago to point out and I don't remember anymore. I wonder what's changed that I agree to eat with him now. Never mind that. Now's not the time. I got food to eat and coffee to drink. It's good. Yeah? I go here with my colleagues a lot. Seems like I've been missing out, huh? Hold on a minute. I feel like there's something, someone looking at me. Where is it? I scan around the area. There's nothing suspicious looking around here. Except for one guy standing in the distance wearing a hat and black glasses. At a glance, I thought it was Henry. But he should be either, either at home or napping or at school right now, right? Just excuse me for a little bit, Dad. Huh? Uh, okay. Concerned, I excused myself and planned to approach that guy. Seems like he noticed me and ran away. Leaving the food here would be a waste, so I quickly drink the coffee and eat what I can before leaving the food stalls. Shit, that dude is fast. I can barely keep up with him. I gotta make sure that it's not Henry. I'll head there now. Considering his appearance, I can't help but get concerned about Henry, too. Left the park as soon as I could and rushed towards Henry's house. Huh. Huh. Seems like there's nothing wrong here. At least that's how it looks from the outside. I want to make sure, but I don't want to trespass on private property. There's no way it was him, right? I can't stop thinking about the guy I saw at the park. What does he want with me, or, or could I be that I was just imagining stuff? I'm starting to doubt myself now. I stand there thinking about the event that happened earlier for maybe ten minutes or so until I hear Henry softly humming. He's walking out. I gotta find somewhere to hide. Unaware of my presence next to the vending machine, he walks toward our school. 
Seems like that guy I saw at the park wasn't him. He looks too relaxed. His breathing is regular, and he couldn't have changed his clothes that fast. Well, he could, but my instinct told me that it wasn't him. Hmm. Crap. I just remembered that I left Dad all over the park. I should head back there now. Ha! Huh. I feel like my lungs are gonna burst. I look around, and he's not here anymore. Did he leave because I was taking too long? I checked the parking site, and his car's not there, too. Maybe he's left for home. I should try calling him. Good thing I have my phone with me. That place was a bit too crowded for my liking, so I went somewhere a lot more remote. I dialed my dad's number and it only took two beats for him to pick up. Making calls here will be easier. I don't have to yell my lungs out for one. Son, where are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry I had to leave like that. I need to take care of something urgent. As long as you're unharmed. Where are you right now? At the park, sitting. Okay, I'll be there ASAP. Where are you? Where are you? I went to look for you. Asked around, but no luck. Ugh. <sighs> He's worrying too much. Actually, Dad, I'm going to stay here for a little while longer. You can head home by yourself. Oh. Are you sure? Yes. All right, that's fine. Take care, son. You too. Beep. I decided to stay here. Now what? I guess I can go take a nap until it's lunchtime. I did promise Henry, lo Henry lunch, after all. It was a really on. First thing I did when I came back to Earth was stretch my whole body. Ugh, mm, that felt good. I wake up feeling refreshed. Oof! How long has it? How long has I been? Had I been sleeping? Look, I look at the time, and it's high noon already. I'm surprised no one had shooed me away for sleeping here. Mm, excuse me. I suppose I'll go find the nearest fountain and wash my face and tidy up my hair. I don't want to see Henry look at looking like an ogre. That and having bed hair that looks like a lion's mane. Even though I'm a lion. Man's got up here dandy, you know. Mark, what are you doing here? I have plans with Henry. Is he done yet? Uh, I think he's still in Liz's class. I don't know if he has second period or not. He probably doesn't. Well, I'm going to my class now. Have fun, both of you. Yeah, thanks. You too. He sticks out his tongue in a sarcastic way. I'll try to have fun. Ciao. Well, maybe I'll wait for him in Publix instead. It's kind of hot here. Well, well, he's finished his class as soon as I got here. I wish I had waited for him a little while longer. He could have just texted me, you know. Good afternoon to you too, Mark. Ha, <laughs> good afternoon. I just finished class for the day. How about you? I just finished mine not too long ago, but I already left the school. I don't know why I feel like I need to lie to him. Oh, right, I promised you lunch. Come on over to the food court again if you would. Will do. Haven't finished yet, but he hangs up the phone. Oh, well. Finally. I thought I was going to have to send out a search party. I I'm not that slow. Anyway, I'm still worn out after this morning. Whatever you say, jelly legs. Let's, gra let's get some grub. So mean. I, don't I didn't think I'd be back here so soon. I'm buying you food. No complaining. I wasn't complaining. I feel like this is... I, I like the feel of this place. Me too. The two of us seated ourselves while deciding what to eat this time. Doing Indonesian food two days in a row is a little uninspired. It was really good, though. It's always good, but variety is a spice of life, they say. Anything to uh, get your mouth watering? Uh, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggies. Give me them nuggies, girl. <laughs> Classic. I like it. Chicken nuggets it is. Since I don't like ordering food and I'm treating him, I handed him whatever amount of money I saw first. We order some food for us. W what? Again? I know that look in your eyes. A hungry meat hunter on the prowl for nuggets is a thing to be feared. If I order them, I won't get enough to sate your appetite. Just use what's left over for your order to get my own food. Ah, uh, fine. There's still nothing stopping you from going over there with me, though. Is that a, de is that a demand? Uh, yes. Ha! <laughs> fine, fine. Ended up joining him. As long as I'm not the one doing the ordering, I'm fine. I never noticed that it's called Poultry Pleasures. What a lewd name. Seriously. Welcome to Poultry Pleasures. What can I do for you? Can you you can explain how the PR team came up with that name for one? Air. I, I, I mean, I'm gonna look over the menu. That's <laughs> oh, fine. I know it's embarrassing. Uh, one of my family friends is a rooster too. You can imagine how awkward it's how awkward it is when he sees me in uniform. Oof. I can understand that. I remember seeing this naked rooster statue outside, and I took a picture of it. I was following the crotch area. I thought it was funny, so I tagged the sculptor in that picture saying that I'm stroking the cock. 
Apparently he was being commissioned for some kind of event, and that's why I'm not allowed in Renaissance fairs anymore. <laughs> Jeez, you're wild. What did I miss? Nothing. You got an order or what? Uh, ah. F 50 piece chicken nugget meal, please. With two drinks. I should hope so. What? Oh, what drinks would you like? Two iced teas. Hey, I thought I was making the... What was that? That'll be 1984, please. Wow, that's cheap. Dang, not a bad deal. Crispy, cheap chicken for cheerful faces. That's our motto. Something about watching the employees frantically frying up 50 nuggets is fascinating to me. They really work hard, don't they? And they get paid peanuts, too. Shame. Seriously? How are they supposed to buy anything with peanuts? I'm not sure if you were serious. I was joking. Ha! It's hard to tell with you. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Suit yourself. Order for Henry. Oh! These are fresh. Very nice. Very nice. Bet I can eat half my half my half faster than you. That's a losing bet. We'll see about that. I know I won't I know I won't be able to win, so I take my time savoring those chicken nuggets while he's making a mess over himself. He hasn't realized that though. Told you! Maybe he does now. There were some customers that didn't approve of us younger people having some fun. Hey, mind your own business over there. Good job, buddy. You deserve a reward. Uh, a reward? I pulled out a handkerchief from my pocket and gave it to him. Clean yourself up. I'll go get some napkins for myself. But this looks expensive. I can't wipe my face with this. What's the point of a handkerchief that never gets used? Plus, it's machine washable. And it's not mine, anyway. It is? Yeah, probably. Uh... It's fine, dude. I'll take it back when you're done and clean it later. Uh, okay. Left the table to clean my hand and my mouth. I can't stand the grease when I eat something. I have to wash it properly. Phew, good lunch. Very. Yep, for hanging out some more. Look that. I've got this. I've got this neat mobile game you might like. Well, well, look who that is. Actually, some other time. Yo, let me help you remove that paper from your shoes. Oh, so thank you. Me. This is Jonas, my friend's boyfriend. We are, well, not exactly on good terms. I played a prank on him the other week when he went on, went on a date. What did I do? Oh, God. Is that a sneeze coming? Sneeze coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I hate it when you cannot... Oh, God, I hate it when you're just at the cusp of sneezing and it just goes away. What did I do yet? Okay, let's go ahead and save it. What did I do, you ask? That's a secret. It had something to do with his wallet, so he wants me to be responsible about it. Of course, I was being responsible and gave him back his wallet in perfect condition. Although, I took his beloved handkerchief. Like how he took Abby's homework. Let's just say it was a payback moment. Full disclosure, his partner knew about the prank I pulled on him. In fact, I got permission. Stop messing with me! What do you mean? The thing you did last week, dumbass, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you mean about that wallet in your back pocket? My wallet? Since when? Just when I removed the toilet paper from your shoes. You little... I'm telling you, man, it's no big deal. No big deal? Don't screw around with someone's wallet. Come on, Jonas. It's not what you, it's not what you think at all. I think you ought to give me back my wallet before I give you a black eye. Check your bag, front pocket. Huh? You... Uh-oh. I'm gonna teach you a lesson in personal space. Naturally, when someone's chasing you, you should run and hide. But I saw that Henry is there, so I'm gonna use him as a distraction. I seem to be talking right now, and Henry is taking back his pencil case. I didn't mean to use it like that, but I had to prank Jonas like that. He left, and now it's time for me to get out of my hiding place. What a goober. Ah! I need to shout him right here. Don't give me that, you stole my pencil case! No, well, didn't steal it, technically. You left it with me. I was about to give it back to you this morning, then I decided to borrow it longer. It was for a magic trick. I was gonna just show you at my place or something, but... Well, a cold opportunity presented itself. Actually, that was a lie. I wanted to tell him that I forgot about returning it, but I'm just too prideful to say that. Hmm. He handed the pencil case to me yesterday, and now he accuses me of stealing it? What's in his mind, I wonder? Did you really think I was never going to give it back? You shouldn't have taken it in the first place. My defense, I didn't. It was with me the whole time. Like I said, he gave it to me yesterday, and he forgot to take it back. It looks like he can't be reasoned with at the moment. I should play the victim card. It was, it was, it was just a joke. I'm sorry. Ah! 
I mean it. The moment got away from me. I didn't mean to upset you, not even a little. I should have just asked you to borrow it. Why didn't you then? I, I just wanted to surprise you. Uh, it was a nice thought, but you still shouldn't have done that. Yeah, it was a call. It was a wild. I was in a wild mood this morning. Still am, but it's souring fast. Whatever. I did get that impression, so I'll let it slide this time. Y you mean it? Yep, just don't do it next time. Man, you're the best. Not really. I mean it, don't push your luck. I know, I'll do good by you. I'll make this up to you. Eh, you don't have to. I had a fun day. Glad to hear it, but I'm making a promise to you. It's fine. No, it isn't. I fucked up. I'll come up with something good. If you insist, then. I do, I do. I need to go home and start organizing my move... My move-in boxes. Okay, need any help? I know your house is big. You might need help with it. I knew that because I visited... I knew that because I visited him this morning. Twice. Once I had asked when it, once when I had asked him to eat donuts in the morning, which I don't quite remember, and the other time for chasing out that stalker, but he doesn't need to know about that. Speaking of which, man, I was surprised when I saw it this morning. Really? Is it really that big? Oh, for sure. You're living by yourself, too. That's way too big. Hmm. Well, I'll think about it. I don't want you to help me, to help me with my own mess. Yeah, fair. I'll see you in class tomorrow, then. Mm-hmm. Wait! I'm right here, dude. Chill. Sorry, I just remembered to ask you something. Do you know if uh, moose sweat moose sweat a lot? <laughs> what? Uh, pardon? Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> it's something that came up in another conversation. Okay. Well, I don't think they sweat or smell any more than they any other gym beasts around this town. I did hear a curious rumor about giraffes, though. What was that? Yeah, nothing important. Take care. Somehow, somehow dealt with that. I really don't know what was in his mind. It kind of changed my opinion about him a little bit. I thought he was the type of person who would ever judge things for the way they look, but maybe I was wrong. Since he's gone, maybe I should head back now. I said that, but then I remembered about Anders. I'm gonna bother him just a little bit before going home. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Anders. Sorry I didn't say hi to you. What? I'm working right now, Mark. Don't, don't talk to me until later. Oh, fine, I'll wait. Yeah, I'm still at Publix with Anders. All right, don't wander off too far at night. I know, I know, I'll be fine. Click. It's taking too long. I'm bored. Hey, Anders, I'm bored. I'm still working. Go entertain yourself out there. I'm going outside, then. I won't be long, so don't wander off too far. Hm, fine. Just text me when you're done. Okay. Messing with Anders yielded no results, so I decided to walk around and see what I can do right now. Judging from what I'm seeing, I can safely say that there's nothing to do here. Maybe I'll just walk around. Oh, hey, this is that, isn't this that alley? If I remember correctly. Here! Oh. Hmm? Eh? What? Are you out of your mind, kid? What are you doing startling someone like that? I didn't know you'd be here. Who are you? What the heck are you doing here? Doesn't matter. The problem is, you startled me. Oh, yeah? I startled you? So what you gonna do, you suspicious-looking cat man? I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, exactly. I don't see what your deal is. Grr, just scram. No, I'm not gonna scram. You scram. <laughs> oh boy. All right, guys. A fight is gonna fight is gonna break out probably. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, yeah, that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.